Each year across Georgia, more and more kids are losing a connection to agriculture. For the past six years, an award has been given out by the governor's office to the school whose fifth grade participated in an exceptional ag awareness event. Well, this year the winner was East Jackson Elementary School. Monitors Mark Wildman traveled to the school in North Georgia on the day they received that award. For the second year in a row, the fifth grade students at East Jackson Elementary School took home the Governor's Agricultural Awareness Week Observance Award. The award went to the school who best participated in an event or activity to increase ag awareness. We started off with just the Adopt a Chick program our first year and we had such wonderful response from that through parents and students that this year we decided to continue on and we added the garden and a tractor pull along with our Adopt a Chick program. On hand to congratulate the students was the governor's ag liaison, Donnie Smith, and a host of others representing many areas of Georgia agriculture. They did an outstanding job promoting agriculture, telling the benefits that agriculture provides for the state of Georgia, both economically and environmentally. The students participated in various projects during the year, and it was all in an effort to better bridge the gap between students and the farm. We started a raised bed garden this year in the fall, and the students were in charge of planting, maintaining, and harvesting the crops. And it went from late August till mid-November. As part of their award from the governor's office, the program received a cash contribution. We used the money last year to double our program, and we'll move forward again this year. We want to double the size of our garden. We want to add more projects and more programs for our students to experience agriculture firsthand. And they also got a little help from the County Farm Bureau. It's nice to come down here to the elementary school and then the high school students come down here with their FFA programs and they've, they've started bringing them into the elementary school. So with that, we've already got a grassroots organization that's, that's starting in the elementary school so we'll be able to bring these kids right up through the middle school program into the high school into the FFA and they'll even know more about agriculture instead of just waiting till high school to get started. The school plans on keeping up its efforts of ag awareness. These raised beds are going to be expanded next year, making way for more plants and more opportunity for the students to learn about the state's number one industry. We've often talked about the importance of agriculture, about a $65 billion industry. The governor supports it. It is the industry in these tough times that's still succeeding. Agriculture is the most important thing in this state and the most important thing in anybody's life. Uh, I don't want to repeat myself, but I say it all the time. There's only five things it takes to survive in this world. <laughs> And that's food, clothing, shelter, air, and water. Three of those come from agriculture, and the other two free. And, and everything else is basically a luxury. In Jackson County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.